Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Count Athletic Center for today's volleyball contest on the Great Midwest Digital Network. The final regular season match of the 2023 season as the Lady Jackets of Cedarville host the Arrows of Ursuline College in an important GMAC contest. I'm Jim Clark. As always, privileged to call the play-by-play. I'm joined by my wife and former head coach of the Lady Jackets, Teresa Clark. Teresa, Cedarville comes into today with a record of 14 and 15, 9 and 9 in the GMAC, while Ursuline has had a difficult 2023 season with a record of 1 and 29 and 1 and 17 in the league. But as we know, we've seen before, nothing is easy in GMAC volleyball. Well, certainly the records, the stats, and the momentum all favor Cedarville today. But even as we saw last night in the third set with Lake Erie, in which the Lady Jackets finally prevailed 30 to 28, that any team can be dangerous, so Cedarville has to bring their A game, as always, to take on the arrows. Let's talk briefly about what is at stake today. Not only is it Senior Day, which is always a special occasion, but the Lady Jackets are looking to secure a spot in the eight-team GMAC tournament. They will need to win today and then depend on other results to see if they can continue their season. So what are some of the key factors today for the Lady Jackets? Well, Senior Day is always something special. Today, it is Haley Goff and Abby Kuyper who will be recognized, and so it will be important to be mentally focused, play solid fundamental volleyball, and then see what happens. I think a key today will be blocking at the net. So frontline players, Egard, Blakemore, Shields, and Hensley are gonna be a huge factor if they're reading the Ursuline attackers. Well, it should be a good one here today. We look forward to some great action this afternoon here in Cali. Good morning, all the board members for being here and thank you for another day that we can come together and the great people that have given us. But I think for each one of these teams, the work that they've poured into this season, I pray for safety for both teams and most importantly for your son and that you sent him to die in the house for our sins. Lord, so that one day we may have eternal life with you. The sophomore Cassie Shields leads the GMAC in service aces goal, tosses it up in the air and sends it deep right through the arms of libero Maya Jackson. Offside attack by Davenport, she rips it right between the back line defenders and it's 3-1 to one Cedarville. Put right back down by Haley Goff and that will register as a kill for the senior setter. Puts it just inside the far sideline for a kill for Janae Hugard. First reset the offense, left side, roll shot by Ayala, Croft, again Hensley, puts a sharp angle, passed up on the 10 foot line by Ayala, put right back down on the block, on a kill attempt from McCarthy, point to Cedarville. And Cedarville has adjusted to the attack game of the arrows and they are starting to become more effective with their block. Middle attack to Davenport, she puts that one down big time. Abby Kuyper nicely delivered to Goff on a slide attack. Hegard off the top of the net, that one hits. Kill for Hegard. Shield delivers another powerful kill from the right side. Right side attack put down with a heavy duty block is good for the point. 14-11 and Coach Ponessa of Ursuline will take her first time out. Blakemore to Goff, outside the 10-foot line. Hensley goes up strong and puts it down. Not a lot of power, but she timed it and placed it beautifully in front of the back row player for a kill for Madeline Hensley. Their last home game, like, even if it's not like the most amount of energy, I'm like, let's go out. We're having like, so much fun. Let's just go out there and go out and get the job done. There from Hegard, we're tied at four. Goff, outside it goes to Davenport for kill number eight. Seniors, thank you. I know it's not been easy for you to win you. Thank you. Little attack to Shields. Felton serves it. And the base serve for Talia Felton. Very long season. This is the longest season that we've ever had. And you guys managed it, you got through it, you got through it with us not having hardly any practices. It's a testament to when we got into the gym, there's a focus, and we got better. But very proud of you guys and how we finished the season. Sophia Miles gets the official's whistle, sends it across the net. That'll be a big serve. The ball lands at the 10 foot line. The entire bench has exploded. We just like left it all out there. I feel like the energy from people on the bench, people on the court was like just so good. I feel like this was like 
one of the best ones that like everybody is like truly played with joy and just like excitement and like love for each other. So I think that's just like a great way to go out here, like as the last time, like all together, like on our own court. So I think you guys did a really good job with that. I was going feral for you guys. <laughs> for him on three, one, two, three, for him. I told her you can always count on me, darling. Yes, you.